couple of days ago, one of my subscribers was asking me for a more detailed view of the brakes and the shocks on my go-kart. So I'm going to show you. So, the brake linkage is just all mowing the lawn across the street. Uh, hinge, and that just, when you hit the brakes, it just pushes in on this master cylinder here. And then uh, I have solid brake lines, just solid tubing, because a rubber tube wouldn't go all the way to the back. But to do that, I had to get these uh, banjo bolt to a standard brake line converters. And then I go from a, through a solid brake line. That comes all the way back, goes across over to that side. And it comes all the way back to the back here. And I have another one of those banjo bolt converters there. And then this is the caliper off of a old uh, Yamaha motorcycle. And then I just have this right here. It folds down. And then I have this supporting bracket. And then it's just welded in place and, and bolted there. So that's how my brake system works. Just a master cylinder up front, solid line all the way to the back, to motorcycle caliper and a disc. So that's my braking system. And the shocks, what I did was uh, I actually cut the frame in half right down the middle and I extended the square frame with a little bit bigger square frame and then I drilled holes in each side and put a bolt through it. So those where'd they go? Those two nuts are tightened against each other so they won't come off. There's a washer in between. Same thing on that side. So the whole frame can uh, bend in the middle. And then I just took these shocks and I just mounted them horizontally across the pivot point. So when there's weight on it, it just folds. So the only thing connecting the front to the rear are the shocks and those bolts. Uh, let's see if I can set this camera and show you some flex. Okay, here's some, some flex. That's how the shocks work. 